Hi guys, it's Jordan here. So you might find yourself walking through the shops looking for a Christmas present or even, you know, a present for yourself. You're like, I want to start collecting records. Great. Excellent. Brilliant. Couldn't suggest a better thing, except maybe world peace, but you know what? Each to their own. Um, and you see, you might see, you know, a nice little $100 record player or $30 depending on whether you live in America or I don't know how currencies work. I live in Australia. You might see yourself a nice little $30 record player that looks like a little briefcase and you're like, damn, that is sick. That's what I'm going to start with. I just wanted to make a video um, kind of perhaps uh, explaining why that is a great idea but may not be the best idea. Um, we, we sell a lot of them, those kind of record players in Australia, those Crosley type uh, built-in record players um, with speakers, that kind of thing. Um, really good to get people into uh, records, um, but they're really just not that great record players. Um, so in, you know, the vinyl community, um, I don't think anyone can agree on anything, so this might be controversial. Uh, I don't know, uh, and apologies if you disagree. Um, sound is quite subjective, uh, so although certain things aren't subjective, so that's also like I welcome valid points. But um, you know what? Without further ado, I kind of wanted to do a video on a list of uh, brands and to some extent models um, to avoid uh, when you're looking to buy a record player or even upgrade a record player. Perhaps you're like, hmm, this isn't the best record player. I'd like to go um, for another one. Um, so a lot of my viewers are from the UK, Australia and America. So I'll probably try to focus a video mainly to them. Um, but, and I'll also probably try to do some international brands. Uh, so pretty much when you buy a record player, you're looking for like a good uh, stylus and tone arm and just kind of an accurate machine. Um, that's what you're looking for. Uh, so when when a when a, a turntable has speakers built in, you can pretty much guarantee that that uh, machine is not going to be accurate and it's not going to have a good stylus and or tone arm. Uh, so just throw that out of the equation. Um, what can happen is those record players can actually damage your records uh, if you've got particularly uh, meaningful records to you. That's probably a reason to avoid those particular uh, record players. Um, if you're just getting started and you've got crappy records from the bloody $2 shop, I don't know what they're called, who cares? Just go for it. Get into it. Upgrade it later. Just yeah, something to be mindful of, you know, there are risks in the world. When you get into a car, you're taking a risk. If you do anything, you're taking a risk. So if you want to, you know, just do it. doesn't matter. I had a crappy little Crosley to start off with. It was fine. It wasn't fine. It was actually quite bad. But to me, I, had, I knew nothing at the time. It did the job. Really, I could listen to it. But this is for kind of the person who's done a bit more research than I did when I started getting into vinyls. In terms of why these brands should be avoided, it's mainly they'll skip a lot. They'll be like the needle will jump around. It'll be very hard to enjoy certain music. They won't be upgradable. Some of the styluses will only last a very short amount of time. So uh, for example, 65 hours, some of them will only last 65 hours. That's not a lot of time listening to music. Uh, some of the uh, records will just have pretty poor quality control and they'll Gurgle is probably a good sound to describe it. It just won't sound right. If you put it on a, a really good record player, it will sound completely different. Uh, and that's because the first one is wrong. And the second one is more accurate representation of the sound that's coming out of the, um, or was recorded onto the um, circle thing. You know what I'm talking about. So in terms of brands of record player to avoid there's a really nice list on Reddit, which I'll probably link below. Well, I will link below. Uh, not sure why I said probably there. Um, but the the biggest brands kind of to avoid for me, uh, Crosley, just get rid of them. 
bad. Um, this isn't a brand, but anything with built-in speakers, get rid of it, avoid. Lower end Sony models, Jensen, Toshiba, Ion, and then a particular model from Audio-Technica and Pioneer, which is probably the one, uh, these are the ones where people are like, I'm upgrading, I'm gonna go to this model. Uh, and if you're doing that, this is probably not the best idea. Um, if you're starting on these models, who cares, go for it. So Audio-Technica and Pioneer, great, uh, great companies for turntables. Um, there's one particular model in each of those that I would urge you to avoid. I would advise you to avoid the Audio-Technica LP60 and its various models. Um, if you want to kind of start on it, it's really not the worst thing that you could do. Um, it's just very poorly uh, quality controlled. The sound difference between like a, the, the bottom end uh, Audio-Technica and any others is incredibly noticeable. The LP60 is incredibly cheap, uh, Lee made, sorry, not cheap. It's actually quite expensive in Australia. It costs like 260 bucks or something and it costs like 100 bucks in America, which is just not fair because that's not what the exchange rate is. Um, but it's plasticky. For the price, you'd expect something a bit better and you don't get it. Um, and, you know, do your own research. Uh, there's a lot of videos on YouTube that tell you um, why you shouldn't get it. Um, take that into account, it's okay. Not the best, pretty bad. That doesn't really help you, but, you know, just take it into account. So, another uh, model of a good uh, brand that you should avoid is the Pioneer PL990. Um, it's just not very good. Google it, you'll see why. Um, again, if you want to start on it, no one's going to tell you not to do your own thing, but uh, just try and avoid it if you can. Uh, if you don't have the money not to avoid it, you know what? Each to their own. Anyways, if you're in Australia, avoid anything. I think it's Braun is the Audi brand. Um, Buddy, Bush, Cobalt. Nothing by Dick Smith, even though they don't exist, even though they're now owned by Kogan. Um, Digitech, Vision, Flea Market. That's that JB Hi-Fi brand that they sell that looks kind of cool. They do like Bob Marley themed stuff, but it's bad. Uh, Holy Smoke Laser, another, um, they sell them at uh, office work sometimes, laser. Sorry. Uh, Lennox Mbeat. I've seen them around. I think they used to sell them at Dick Smith. Onyx, Sencor, and Welling. If you're Australian, avoid them. Those are like particularly Australian uh, brands. They're just rebadged other products. If you're in the UK, avoid Acura, Audi, Amos, as mentioned on screen. That's what apparently that stands for. Asai, Orna, Ben Ross, Big Ben, Boom Beats, Bush, Case Flex, Cavern Cup Club, Connected Essentials, Debonair, Derens, Denver, Derens is a funny name, Elixir Audio, Encode, Global Gizmos, Goodmans, Grouch, IMG Stage Line, iTech, Intempo, Jam, Kenley, Koenig, Limit, Marquee Club, On Dial, Retrofusion, Silvercrest, Soundmaster, Steeple Tone, Tevian, UK, AED, AYED, VO, Vibe Sound, and Xenix. If you're in the United States, buckle up uh, and avoid Anders Nicholson, Art and Sound, Audiology, Back to the 50s, Boy Tone, Brookstone, Cape Heart, Clear Click, Cost Zone, Inc., Craig Electronics, CMC, DCI, uh, Digit Now, Exclamation Mark, Dealer Turntable, uh, Emerson, Encore Technology, Encore Technology, sorry, uh, Electro Home, Electro Brand, Exubi, First Street, G Kenny, Gad House, Go So, Grace Digital, iLive, iTrack, Jawline, Knox, Lawson, Love, Make to Play, Love's a Kickstarter apparently, uh, Mercury Innovations, Miric, Musitrend, Votive, Polaroid, Produ Trend, QFX, Restoration Hardware, Rock, Rock Block, 
Kickstarter again. Roswell, Sharper Image, Spinbox, Spinbox, another Kickstarter. Supersonic Inc, Techplay, Technical Pro, Thomas Picconi, Tyler, Verdict Life, Final Style, Vitcatronics, Wolfen, Zazluk. If you're looking for a recommendation of a record player to purchase, um, there's heaps of recommendations online. Uh, if you go to the vinyl subreddit, there's some fantastic recommendations. Uh, if you're after just a quick recommendation from me, I wouldn't trust me. If you are looking for one from me, I would recommend the Audio Technica LP120. Any doesn't matter what the numbers are, they mean like Bluetooth and like new looking and all that kind of stuff, but um, sorry, rather letters after that number. Uh, the Audio Technica LP120 is a really good uh, record player. Uh, it's a bit expensive, especially in Australia, but if you get one second hand, like, they're quite popular, uh, so you should be able to get one second hand. They're very good, uh, it's worth it. Um, to spend that extra bit of money, you'll really get the more out of your records and it will actually sound like how they are meant to sound like. Um, so, yeah, if anyone else has other suggestions or would like me to go through black brands to avoid in their particular country, happy to do that. Um, I'll put a proper list of the brands to avoid, the international brands to avoid, uh, somewhere in here. But um, yeah, thanks for listening. Uh, let me know if you would like me to do another one of these related to something else. Anyways, thank you for listening.